kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. Bo's Marvelous Play. One day, Bo invited the kittens and mustard to his house to watch a play he had written. I present a great spectacle. Beauty and the Marvelous Violin. Will this be a real play like with actors and props? And scenery and everything? And music too? It's got all those things and music too. And guess what? I'm going to do everything and it will be really great. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. <sighs> I really hope it will be super fun because I so get super sleepy after lunch. <sighs> I'm the prince of this faraway country and I have a marvelous violin whose music always makes people happy. Now where's that carpet sword I made? Oops. <gasps> <laughs> oh, that violin doesn't make me happy! I am the wicked underground king and I hate that music so much! Oh no! Underground king wants to destroy my marvelous violin! I shall hide in the woods! <laughs> Tricky handling all this stuff on my own. I could help you with all the scenery and props if you want. It'd be much easier if I did. Mm-hmm. This sure is a scary forest. My whole tail is covered in goosebumps. Oh, huh? it isn't time for this music to be played yet. This scene is supposed to feel scary. That fun music didn't feel scary. Well, I could be in charge of turning the music on and off if it would help. Mm. Mm -hmm. The lovely damsel has been asleep for a hundred years. Ooh. But I will wake her up with my marvelous violin! Oh, in my whole life I have never heard such wonderful music! Mwahaha! <laughs> never again! I'll chop the violin in two! It will be silenced forever! No, Evil King, I will stop you! Prince, Evil King, don't argue! Mwahaha! <laughs> You'll never beat me! We'll soon see! Let's just all be friends, guys. Only if he promises not to touch my violin. No way, I hate music. Just wait for a second. I'm really confused right now. Who's the bad guy? Who's the good guy? Oh boy, I wanted the play to be brilliant and instead it's a disaster. I'm a terrible actor. You're a great actor, but you're playing too many parts at the same time. Yeah. Oh, I wish there were more of me. Then I could do everything myself. No, no, no. I know what we need to do. Cookie, would you play the role of the evil underground king? Oh, yes. I've always wanted a chance to try acting. Sleepy Mustard, huh? would you play the part of the Sleeping Beauty? A beauty? Yes, I can do that. <sighs> as well as sleeping, for sure. Phew. and his company of kittens put on a marvelous show. Because everything is better when you do it with friends. The Sweet Truth. One day, the kittens went with their parents to a festival where Daddy was going to display his delicious cookies. This part is perfect. Apparently, whoever has made the tastiest treats wins a very special badge. Yeah, and I've prepared some super yummy cookies that are guaranteed to knock their socks off. So awesome! <laughs>
มีว้าวมีว้าวมีว้าวมีว้าว Is this one of the yummy cookies that's going to knock their socks off? You betcha, and I call it the magic cookie. Go ahead, try it. You'll see why. Mm. It's so great. <laughs> well, thank you. Do you see? It's magic because of what's inside. You kittens can go explore while we stay and get the booth set up. Just be careful to stay in the fairgrounds. As the kittens looked at the other booths, they started to feel a little nervous that the other treats looked yummier than Daddy's. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty good, but Dad's cookies are way yummier. But who'll notice these plain-looking cookies with all these fancy pastries around? Pretzels, all flavors of pretzels. Pretzels with apple, apricots, or honey, hot and so fresh. I got it. We just need to tell everyone that Dad's cookies are delicious. The kittens wanted to help Daddy, so they made posters to advertise Daddy's yummy cookies. Great cookies! Great cookies! Come and try some great cookies! Hi there! Hey guys! You've got to try the cookies our dad made. Sure we will. But first, I've got to try some of those sugar butterflies because they're just so beautiful. And I want some star-shaped lollipops and cream-filled pastries. They really look amazing, don't they? We better hurry before they're all gone. Hmm. They'll never make it to Dad's cookies at all like this. I know how to get their attention. Hey, you guys want to experience something super awesome? Huh? Did, Did you say something super awesome? The magic cookie. Just one cookie is as amazing as flying in the sky. Just one of Daddy's cookies is as lovely as watching fireworks. Just one cookie is as exciting as riding a dolphin. <laughs> The magic cookie from Kitty Cats. Try one now. Oh, whoa! We want your cookies. Hey, my cookie isn't working. I'm still on the ground. I should be flying by now. Yes, and I can't see any fireworks at all. Where's the tiara I wished for? You promised us magic, but everything you said about these cookies was just a lie. Hmm. Did they believe my cookies were actually really magic? Well, we kind of said stuff just to get them interested. And they haven't even taken a bite to try them out. Yes, well, of course not. They were upset they didn't experience the miracles they were expecting. Hmm. Yeah, looks like we shouldn't have made up lies about your cookies being really magic. But your cookies look so ordinary on the outside. How can we explain how amazing they really are? I have a really good idea. We'll tell the truth about how extra yummy Dad's magic cookies are, but in an extraordinary way. They might look ordinary, but try a bite and you will learn that they're the very best cookies ever. True. Don't pass them by. Come give them a try. You'll be impressed. These cookies are. The Well, let's get this over with. Mm. These cookies are truly delicious. The best in show badge is yours. Every pastry shop in town ought to be selling your cookies. They're wonderful. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. And that's how the kittens worked out how to tell everyone the sweet truth about their daddy's wonderfully scrummy cookies. Treasures of ancient Egypt. One day, Dad had picked Pudding up from school. Hey, Pudding, welcome home. How is school today? I have a homework project for the weekend. I have to prepare a report on ancient Egypt. How interesting! Nah, not really. How much is there to say about Egypt? There's pyramids and sand, and that's all. <laughs> Don't forget the palm trees. <laughs> ancient Egypt is actually quite a fascinating subject. For one thing, the ancient Egyptians used to believe cats brought them good fortune. Really? And the pyramids contain precious treasures that are very difficult to find because it's easy to get lost in all the tunnels. Cool. Well, how about tomorrow we all take an expedition to ancient Egypt? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. 
Somebody turn the alarm off. We don't have to get up for school today. It's the weekend. Wake up, kids. Did you forget we're exploring ancient Egypt today? Oh, <laughs> Mommy! You look really beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. In fact, the most beautiful woman in ancient Egypt was considered to be Queen Cleopatra. That picture is really funny. The head's sideways, but the body's front ways. That's because they had certain rules for drawing. Everyone had to obey the rules. Drawing differently was not allowed. Whoever was more important was drawn bigger in size. For example, a warrior was drawn bigger than a common Egyptian. And the most important and highest of all was the pharaoh, the king of Egypt. In fact, the pyramids were built for pharaohs in the first place. Inside of them, there are chambers full of treasure and mummies. And here's a map for you. Awesome! In ancient Egypt, they wrote in what is called hieroglyphics instead of words and letters. Oh, it's hieroglyphics, right? Yes, it's a kind of writing that uses pictures. Look for the good fortune hieroglyphs. They will show you the way. Awesome! <laughs> Come on, let's find the treasure right now! <laughs> Right. Mom said we need to find the hieroglyph for good fortune. But what do they look like? Uh, how about like this? The ancient Egyptians thought that cats brought good fortune. Mommy said that, remember? I think I know how to find it. Let's follow these cat pictures on the map. Bet that's how we're supposed to find the treasure. <laughs> Hold on. Huh? Who exactly is that lying in my huh? bed? Hmm? <laughs> 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 Hi, Grandpa. Why is your entire body covered with toilet paper? I'm not your grandfather. I'm a real live Egyptian mummy. <laughs> and I'm guarding the Pharaoh's treasure. <laughs> Run! <laughs> 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 Get up, dear Mummy Grandpa. <laughs> Our exciting exploration of ancient Egypt has come to a close. It was very fun and interesting. Now I'll have so much to say at report time. Thanks so much. But there's something you forgot. Don't my little Egyptologist want to find out what's inside the treasure chest? Oh. Yes, I carved those for you. Not of wood, ouch. So you'll remember that cats are lucky. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Mommy, Daddy, and Grandpa spent the rest of the day pretending to be ancient Egyptians with the kittens who saw that any topic is interesting if you make learning fun. Playing in the dark. One night, Mommy and Daddy went out to dinner and left the kittens at home with Grandma. Grandma, will you play with us, please? I have to finish making your dinner before I can play, darlings. But you three just go ahead and I'll join in when I'm finished. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Whoa! The lights went out. <laughs> Did I clap too hard? Ah! Cookie pudding, what happened? I'm afraid of the dark. Why? What's there to be afraid of? But you were just blindfolded when we were playing, and that's the same thing as being in the dark. But wearing a blindfold isn't nearly as dark as real darkness. Kittens, where are you? Grandma! It looks like every single light in the house is out, but everything's going to be all right. We need to head down to the cellar to find some flashlights. But it's even darker down there! Maybe we can wait up here for the lights to come back on? But what if they stay off for a long time? We'll be fine down there, kittens, because we'll all be together the whole time. Well, all right. Be 
careful going down the steps, dears. Uh, Goodness, what's the matter, Candy? I'm frightened. It's even darker down there, you know. I'm not even a bit scared, and I'll tell you why. Because darkness is our friend. There are many beautiful things that we never see without it, like the lovely glimmer of this candlelight and the twinkling stars. These wonderful things can only be seen in the dark. The stars aren't up there. <gasps> oh, wow! Not to mention there's a great deal of fun to be had when you're playing in the dark, especially if you can get your paws on a flashlight. <laughs> Come and look at this, Candy. Look, it's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a mountain. Look, Cookie Mobile. <laughs> Whoa, I just got very hungry. Yeah, yeah, I'm starving. Goodness, kittens, I'm afraid I forgot to finish dinner and all the confusion. Let's try to root out something to eat down here. Something which doesn't need any cooking. I already found something awesome. Cookies. And I see apples over here. I've got carrots. Dinner uh -huh. is served. Huh? Oh, and look, the lights are back on as well. Oh, no. But we were having all that fun in the dark. And it wasn't really scary at all. Uh -huh. Hey, I just had a really good idea. See, now we can play in the dark again all we want. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Goodness, kittens, what's going on in here? Has the electricity gone out? Yeah! It did go out, but it's on again. We just have the lights out because the dark is fun. Why, Candy, you're not afraid of the dark anymore? That's just wonderful. Well done. Come over here, everyone, and enjoy our shadow show. And that's how Candy learned that darkness is really nothing to be afraid of. And playing in the dark can be a lot of fun. <laughs> Off to the races. One day, the kittens brought remote-controlled cars to the playground. Now car number one speeds ahead of the pack, rounding all obstacles. Hey, I think we should build our own racetrack on the playground. So we can have a race? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But I want to be in the race as well. Do you even know how to drive these cars? Well, no, but I'd really like to learn. May I? Uh, okay, fine. This drives the car forward, and this button makes it go backward. Finally, you steer it by turning hmm. this little wheel. Ah, it seems simple enough. <laughs> Not that way. No, oh. stop. Um, let me try to back up. Okay, oh. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Oh. Uh -huh. Which way are you going? Oh. Go backwards, reverse. Well, that's huh? about enough of that. Everybody oh. knows that girls aren't any good at driving. They just aren't quick enough. Uh, but girls are really good at pushing strollers, so that's something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, let's put a really sharp turn. And then we can put a ramp here. I'm gonna prove to them that girls are every bit as good at driving cars as boys are. <laughs> Candy found the remote control that operates her robo-fish. Excellent. Now I just need a little practice. Huh? Oh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Oh. Oh.
wheels, Mom. What? Boys? That's not true at all. Driving fast doesn't mean driving well. When I drive home from the supermarket, I try to avoid every pothole and bump and turn very gently because I don't want to spill my groceries everywhere. <laughs> Candy drove the robofish very carefully to keep her favorite doll safe. All set for the race? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> what is that thing? A sardine mobile? <laughs> Candy the sardine driver! <laughs> Come on, Candy. Hurry up. Flap your fins faster. <laughs> Drivers, start, start your, your engines. engines. Go! Go. <laughs> <laughs> swim across the line first. It's first, middle, and last. Then Candy wins and we all lose. It looks like girls can become good drivers after all. And since I was victorious, you boys have to push my doll carriage. Just do it carefully, please. Turns out not only being fast, but also being careful can help win the race, no matter how big or small. Kitty Fun Fair. One day, an exciting traveling fun fair came to town. We're headed to a real life fun fair. Oh boy, this is going to be the best day ever. We should try every single ride there. It's a shame that the fair is only here for one day. Kittens, don't worry. We'll all have a really wonderful time. Right. We'll take pictures after every ride so we'll never forget the fun time. So awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! He wanted to ride the roller coaster with the really big loops. Hmm, I'm sorry, little fella, but this ride isn't suitable for kittens. You have to be taller than this to ride it. Well, what if I crawled up on Pudding's shoulders so that huh? we'd look as tall as a grown-up? Well, you are taller, but you still look too young. Hmm? <laughs> We can make mustaches and beards out of cotton candy so everyone thinks that we're grandpas! It's not about how old you are, but how tall. If you're too short, the seatbelt won't hold you in. Whoa! Whoa! That is very not safe. Let's go to the fun house with the crazy mirrors that makes us look wobbly. That'll cheer us up. <laughs> <laughs> Happy pieces for the picture album. I didn't huh? find that very fun at all. Huh? Well, first my tail looked enormous, then it was too little. Then I looked all wonky and crooked. <laughs> yeah, fun house. There's more attractions over there. Look, we must ride the adorable ducks. No way. Let's try that haunted house there. Is it really scary in there? No way! It's the coolest! Yeah? Okay, then. Well, then I'm going to ride the ducks. All right, have fun, kittens. Daddy and I will wait here. We'll take a nice photo of your smiling faces when you're back. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> ah that spider's just made of plastic. <laughs> and that snake's just made of rubber. <laughs> <laughs> and now for the picture! Well, we don't seem to have any happy pictures so far. I was very scared. I wanted the ducks to go fast. Nothing was real on that ride. There are more attractions over there, darlings. <laughs> Oh, no. 
Oh, my phone battery ran out. Attention guests, the traveling fun fair will be closing huh? soon. And we still haven't got a photo where everyone is happy. And the fun fair is moving on tomorrow. <laughs> I have a really good idea. We just need to find a ride that everybody will like, even if we can't take a photo. Uh. The kittens and their parents decided to ride the Ferris wheel. Wow, we're really high. It's sort of scary, but it's really cool as well. And it's really beautiful. <laughs> Cookie looks like someone's grandfather. At least now you can get on the rides that are just for grown-ups. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we'll get our picture after all. Everyone, now we have a happy picture for the Fun Fair album. And we are all smiling in it. Yeah, but Daddy blinked, though. Oh, no, I've ruined the whole thing. I think we have time for one more ride, and we'll get another chance at the picture. Awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> the Ferris wheel turned out to be the kitty cat family's favorite ride and helped make the trip to the fair a really special happy being together memory for them all. Daddy's Kitty Cafe. One day, Daddy was practicing a presentation for a new cafe. And that's why the Cat Cake Cafe will deliver impressive profitability with perfect products and super service. Darling, it's perfect. I'm sure the factory boss cats will approve of your proposal. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I think it's ready to go. I'll double check all the slides are on my computer. Daddy was going to show his presentation on his laptop. Bye bye! I wonder whether or not the boss cats will like Daddy's presentation. Oh, I'd better call work and tell him I'm gonna be late for the presentation. Oh, goodness, I forgot my telephone. Huh? Hmm. Mommy was busy working on her new collection. Mommy! Daddy forgot to take his phone. Grandpa's trying to call him. Hello? Hey there. Good morning. I'm sorry, but it seems he left his phone home by mistake. Okay, I'll call back later then. Bye. Well, goodbye then. Now, kittens, please put this on the desk in Daddy's office. He's probably going to come back to get it. Huh? huh? Mommy! Mommy! Uh -huh. Some stranger is calling Daddy. Uh, hello? Um... Is this the stripey dentist's office? No, I think that you've got the wrong number. I'll just turn the ringer volume down. Please put the phone back on Daddy's desk. Daddy can check the list of who tried to call later. Hey, look! This call is from Daddy's office! Good afternoon! Hello! The Sweet Treats uh? boss cats are already assembled. Uh? We're all here waiting. Hmm. Hello? Can you even hear me? Hello, hmm? this is Candy speaking. I'm here with Cookie and Pudding. Hmm? Daddy went to work, but he forgot his phone at home. <laughs> I see. Well, we'll just have to cancel the presentation. But Daddy worked super extra hard on it. He even rehearsed it a whole bunch of times. I'm afraid we would all need to see your father's cafe ideas right now. I have a really good idea. The three of us can make Daddy's presentation for him. The kittens turned on the phone's camera. Can you all see us? Should we start giving the presentation now? <laughs> um, uh, you can get started, sure. Hmm. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, hmm. Hmm. Our Daddy's Cafe will be small and cozy. Outside will be painted yellow and orange. There'll be cups and saucers, and they'll all have a paw print, just like the sign when you come in. And it'll have cute little tables. The display cases will be full of pastries and sweets. Plus, there'll be a bunch of fresh berries that you can add to your sweets. All the waiters will wear fancy uniforms. And they'll all wear hats that look like cream tarts. <laughs> also, so there's going to be... <laughs> Shh. This is why 
Bye. This cafe will be the best place ever to spend time with your family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I got stuck in a terrible traffic jam, and somehow I forgot my phone. <laughs> Hi, kittens. These wonderful and resourceful kittens just gave your presentation uh, for you. Really excellent work. <laughs> they did? Good job, kittens. Thanks. We're happy to say we're moving ahead with the project. Uh, one thing, what are we going to call your cafe? <laughs> well, there's really only one that makes sense. It should be Kitty Cat's Cafe. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the Kitty Cat's clever idea to help Daddy, there will soon be a lovely new cafe in the city. A night in a forest. One day, Mommy and Daddy woke the kittens up very early in the morning. Time to rise and shine, kittens. Today we're driving to a big nature reserve where we're camping out tonight. Camping? For real? Are we sleeping in a tent? Will we cook on a campfire? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The nature reserve had special spots for camping. Well, no free spots here. Let's drive a bit further. Oh, looks like this one's full as well. After driving around the nature reserve for an hour, Daddy still couldn't find a free camping spot. Are we ever going to get there? I'm so tired. Me too, and I'm very hungry. And Aww. I'm thirsty. Try to be patient, kittens. We'll drive a bit further into the reserve and find a perfectly lovely campsite. The trees are whizzing by really fast. Uh. Uh, well, the trees have stopped whizzing. We'll be stuck here for the rest of our lives. Uh. Now, don't give up, kittens. Everything's uh. going to be all right. <laughs> Come on. Hey. Yeah. Hooray! <laughs> I'll go and gather some firewood while you help your father with putting the tent up. I think I forgot to pack the pegs for the tent. We need them to hold the tent in place. If the tent won't work, will we have to just sleep out on the cold, hard ground? What if it rains? <gasps> then we can all sleep in the car. Uh, uh, It'd be pretty cramped. Uh, yeah, but in the car, at least we'd be safe from all the scary forest creatures. There's lots of mosquitoes around, too. <laughs> nope, I do not want to spend the night in these woods. Neither do I. Daddy, please get Mom. We want to go home. Yeah, home isn't full of big mosquitoes. Or other scary forest beasts. Ah, relax, kittens. We're in a special nature reserve. No scary creatures live in this forest. Ah. Ah. A scary forest creature! <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> kittens, your scary forest creature is Mommy. <laughs> Goodness, Daddy's so very funny. I have been gathering dry twigs for our campfire. They weren't easy to find, but I kept on till I found them. Mommy just delivered a solution to our little tent problem. I've got a really good idea. We should all help fix the tent together and we'll have a super night sleeping in the woods. Soon, the kittens forgot all about their fears and started to have a lovely time in the outdoors. Um, mm. Kittens, it's time for bed. Good night, Good night Mommy. Good night, Good night kittens. kittens. Move over a bit. Ah, uh, there are mosquitoes in here. And they are hungry forest creatures. 
they're pretty big, too. Good thing I brought the anti-scary forest creature spray. <laughs> oh, so awesome! Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Once the kittens settled down and dug in to help out, they had a wonderful time camping. Hmm. Willpower. One day, Daddy baked some lovely muffins. Oh! Ooh, yumminess alert! Now, kittens, the muffins need to cool for a bit. You can all have a muffin once they're cool, after supper. Supper? But that's ages and ages away. Well, you'll just have to use a little willpower. Uh, willpower? What's that? Willpower helps us when we need to stick to a decision we've made, even if it's hard and we don't really want to go through with it. Like not eating muffins before supper. Oh. Having them now would ruin your appetite. Oh. Let's make it a game for you. The kittens who don't eat a muffin before supper will get a lovely prize. Prize? So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Sounds like we have a deal then. I so want just one delicious muffin. They just smell so good. Cookie, let's use your willpower. Why don't you play a game of chess? That'll keep your mind off of muffins. Ooh. Or take your robot and play with candy for a little while. Be back in just a moment. Uh, I'm gonna take huh? these into the kitchen. That way, they won't tempt anyone. Cookie, I've got an idea. The three of us should go out to the playground. There won't be any muffins out there. <laughs> <laughs> I got a surprise. My mommy just baked all these beautiful and delicious muffins. Go on, have some. Huh? Ah. No! Remember to use your willpower. We promised mommy that we wouldn't have any muffins at all before supper. Yeah, but this isn't one of the muffins from our house. But if we eat them now, we won't be hungry when supper time comes. You must remember your willpower. Come on, I'm taking you home. Muffin! Tasty muffin! <laughs> Maybe Cookie really is super hungry. Let's get him a banana or something. Wow. Look at how fluffy they are. <gasps> that they're super yummy as well. Ah! <laughs> give me the muffins! No, give them to me! <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, no! You ate all of them? Uh, now, kittens, what happened to the muffins? Are you telling me you didn't follow the rules of the game? We tried. We honestly really tried to use our willpower. But, well, in the end, I guess we just couldn't do it. We didn't eat the muffins. That means we win! Huh? Oh, wow. We thought you ate them all. I dreamed of these muffins all day, but when I realized you wanted to eat them as much as I did, I decided to help you by hiding them. I've learned something awesome. If the three of us always help each other to get through it when something's difficult, then together we can do anything. You're right about that, Candy. And because the three of you have done so well, you've earned some wonderful prizes. I made you some new t-shirts, so everyone will know that you have wonderful willpower. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wow! I'd like to try that just like you and really test my willpower. I'd love that. But first, let's all play a game of tag. So we can build an even bigger appetite. <laughs> <laughs> so the kittens learned all about willpower and how it's easier to stick to something if you can all help each other. <laughs> the kitten's little cousin. One day, Mommy told the kitty cats that they had guests coming over. 
kittens, guess what's happening today? My sister, your Aunt Cinnamon, is coming to visit. And she'll be bringing her little son, Bagel, along with her. We have a real-life cousin? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I'm curious what our cousin Bagel is really like. I'm sure he's really well-behaved. Good afternoon, cousin. What a charming bow you have. Huh? I'm sure that he loves to read. <laughs> and I bet he's good at playing soccer. <laughs> With him on our side, we'll have the best team ever. Or an amazing music band. Hello there, Cinnamon. Auntie Cinnamon! <laughs> Hello there, little kittens. My, how big you've all gotten. Where's Bagel? We want to meet our cousin. Of course, here's your cousin. <laughs> um, is that really our cousin? Now, sweetie, behave yourself. You play with your little cousin and we'll go make some tea. The kittens hadn't expected Bagel to be so little. They didn't know what to do. He can't even walk. How can we play with him? And he really can't talk at all. Oh, be careful. This is my very favorite dolly. See this cool ball, Bagel? You can play with it if you want to, all right? <laughs> I guess you're too small to play with it right. Hey, look at this. It's the best game ever. It's called chess. <laughs> oh, the ball yeah. from my chess set. You can't play with my doll. <laughs> or with my toy cars. <laughs> we should try to calm him down. We can't let him play with the windmill model. It's for kittens that are way bigger than him. If he plays with it, it'll get broken. That's it. I have a really good idea. We just need to find some baby toys for him. When I was just a little kitten, I loved this rattle very much. Look, isn't it cute? The kittens found the toys they had played with when they were little themselves. Kittens, you've become real friends with Bagel. Well, we need to make sure we come visit you guys more often. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats saw that playing with little kittens can be fun, especially if you try to remember what it was like to be a baby yourself. Kindness makes the kitten. <laughs> One day, Cupcake decided that it was time to speak to Candy about her brother's bad manners. Uh, Candy, no offense, but Cookie and Pudding could use a little work on their manners. They never let anyone go ahead of them, they disturb everyone, and they never share any treats. Gosh, sounds like they've forgotten what her grandma always says. You must always keep in mind that a kitten should be kind. Don't worry, Cupcake. I'll remind them when we get home.
Tell me, and then I'll share it. Because if you don't offer what you've got to them, they'll think that you don't want to share. Ah, that makes sense. Candy also explained that it's good manners to help someone climb down from a high step, or cover someone with a blanket in cold weather, or with an umbrella in the rain. That's it. Manners are pretty simple, right? Super simple. Now can we go play for a while? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> The next day, Candy invited Cupcake for a visit to show off the boys' good manners. Kittens, it's time for tea. <laughs> this tea is so yummy. Oh, drinking from the teapot isn't nice. I don't want any tea now. I'm going outside. Cookie pudding, you forgot your manners again. You both barged past Cupcake going out of the bedroom. Then you drank all the tea yourselves and ate all the treats without offering any to her. Hmm. Letting you pass, giving you this, helping you with that. Sounds like we become just like servants if we follow these manners of yours. Yeah, why must we do all that? I don't get it at all. Because you won't have any friends if you have such bad manners. I'm going to go play with Cupcake. And we don't want to play with you two. Hmm? Hmm. Cookie, what will happen if we lose all our friends because of bad manners? <laughs> I have a really good idea. We need to remember everything Candy taught us and let everyone see our good manners. Yeah! On the playground, Cookie and Pudding tried their Yay. hardest to be kind and attentive. Lovely, kind manners. They take after me. Actually, it feels really nice to be polite and helpful. Yeah, and it really is so easy. And from now on, we'll have good manners all the time. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The boys enjoyed showing off their good manners and were super delighted to see that it made everyone really happy. Junior Archaeologists. The kittens and mustard were watching a TV show about archaeology, digging up the past. Whew. A very long time ago, primitive tribes used to live on this very spot. Look here. The ground below us is sure to be full of interesting stuff from way back in time. Are you working on the dig all by yourself? Yes, I'm afraid so. You see, not many cats want to be archaeologists. Most cats don't have the patience, and they'd rather just watch TV all the time. I feel sorry for the archaeologist. Hey, should we go and help with this search for ancient things? Hey, yeah, it'll be just like we're looking for treasure. What fun! I wouldn't miss this. What if I found something valuable? That settles it. Let's dig like real archaeologists. Awesome! Wow! Me wow! Me wow! Me wow! My my, darling, it looks like you've got some fun plans for the weekend. 
Huh? The next morning, Daddy bought the kittens special pith helmets and drove them to the dig. Ooh. A lot of space to dig. We got here too early. The archaeologist is probably still sleeping. <laughs> I haven't even been to bed. So, good morning. How can I help you? Good, good morning, morning, sir. sir. These youngsters have decided to become archaeologists, so they came up here to help you dig up ancient things. That's just excellent. Are you ready to work very hard and be extremely patient? Mm -hmm. Well, then you can start on plot three. Mm -hmm. I haven't dug over there yet. Awesome! Good luck there, young fella. <laughs> <laughs> The kittens dug patiently for a long time, but didn't find anything. I bet there wasn't ever an ancient tribe living here, and there's no treasure to be found either. Uh, you may be right. Who knows? The old archaeologist knows there's something down here. He wouldn't be working that hard if there was nothing to find. Let's all dig in different places. If we try that, surely one of us will find some treasure. This time the kittens did find a lot of stuff, but none of it turned out to be ancient at all. I was right. Nothing valuable to dig up here. But we just need to be patient, like real archaeologists. I don't want to dig. I want to nap. How about we take turns digging? Then we'll not get so tired. Nope. I'm not digging anymore. I want to go home. I'm exhausted. I'm with her. I'm bored with digging in the dirt. Probably time we all thought about heading home. Everyone's tired. But we're archaeologists. What happened to your patience, guys? It's, it's run, run out. out. Well, I've got lots left, and I don't feel like giving up. <laughs> oh, looks like you found something interesting. <laughs> something ancient, right? Let me look at what you've dug up there. Whoa! This is indeed a vase from an ancient tribe. Isn't it just beautiful? This is a remarkable find, my junior archaeologists. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Thanks to the kittens and daddy, and especially thanks to Candy's patience, the local museum got an exciting new exhibit. Walkie talkies. One day, Mommy and Daddy gave the kittens an unusual gift. Dear kittens, these wonderful gadgets are called walkie talkies. Over. Hear you loud and clear. With them, you three can talk to each other from a distance. <laughs> so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Attention, this is Candy, and I'm laying on my bed. Over! Uh, attention, this is Pudding. I'm just here in the kitchen eating an apple. Over. This is Cookie. I'm looking out the window. Let's play outside. Over. I'm coming. Me too. This is Cookie, and I'm outside. Over. Um, yeah, we can see you. We can hear you too, Cookie. I guess we really only need these walkie-talkies when we're way far away from each other. This is Candy here, and I'm in Africa. Over. This is Pudding here, and I'm up in the Arctic Circle. Over. Hey, can anybody down there hear me? Over. Walkie-talkies don't work when you're in orbit. Huh? Did that lawnmower just pass by on its own? Never mind that. Let's figure out cool stuff to do with our walkie-talkies. Well, we could give one to Mommy so she's always able to get in touch with us. 
But that's why we have a telephone. And plus, everyone would hear whatever Mommy was saying. Careful on the fly, Cookie Kins, or you'll tear the back side of your pants like you did last time. Oh, shush, Mom. The, the back side of your pants? pants? <laughs> <laughs> uh, why does that lawnmower keep running around everywhere by itself? I don't know. Just like I don't know what to use these walkie-talkies for. It sort of seems like they're not really that useful. Attention, huh? this huh? is the police inspector speaking. Oh. Oh. The city gardener's lawnmower has gone missing. Please report it if you spot it. Over. Me, wow. It sounds like Cookie oh. managed to find the police walkie-talkie oh. station. That's given me a really good idea. Kitty Cat Search Squad here, reporting a break in the case. We've seen the lawnmower. It's running on its own. Over. Cookie? Candy? Pudding? Yes, yes it's, it's us. us. Then, by all means, continue the search. Report back with any new information. Over. Great. Copy, Copy that. that. Oh, wow. We'll be looking for the lawnmower just like real life police officers. I found some lawnmower tracks here. They lead right inside this bush. Over. Oh. <laughs> I found some lawnmower tracks around the big old oak tree. Over. And I see lawnmower tracks pretty much everywhere. I'm barely sure I can hear the lawnmower. It's somewhere over there. Yeah, I see it. It's headed away from us towards home, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Police, come in! The Kitty Cat Search Squad have found the lawnmower in our own backyard! Roger that. I'm on my way. Uh, oh, yeah! My beautiful lawnmower! Oh, Daddy missed you so much! Come on, stop! Please? Stop, lawnmower! <laughs> I can't thank oh. you enough for finding it. I don't know what I'd do without it. It's the Kitty Cat Search Squad that you should thank. Oh, cookie, candy, and pudding. Thanks, friends. Our pleasure. Wow! Oh, what a remarkable job you've done trimming our lawn. <laughs> Come inside, everyone, and enjoy some freshly baked muffins. Mommy here. Tea and muffins are on their way. Do you copy? Over. Yeah, loud and clear. Now, if anyone needs to find something, the Kitty Cat Search Squad will always be ready to help. Scarecrow. One day, the Kitty Cats went to visit Grandma. Stay away, cheeky birds. Ah, all done. All the seeds are planted. Soon we'll have a garden full of lovely carrots. Ah, uh -huh. hey! Shoo, shoo, shoo! Granny, why are you scaring the birds away? Are they doing something wrong? Well, unfortunately they were. If I didn't stop them, they'd eat every seed I plant. And if I didn't shoo them off, ah, scat! I wouldn't have a garden. Oh. Let's help Granny protect her garden from the seed thieves. All right, great idea. It's gonna be so, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. Thanks for the help, my darling kittens. I'll go and start on the oh. lunch. The kittens found it easy to shoo the birds away, but they didn't stay away for long. <laughs> to keep running like this. Uh, well, why don't we just stand here? They probably wouldn't come back if we did that. No way! Standing around all day? Boring! <gasps> what if we painted some big pictures of ourselves and left them right where we are now? The birds will think we're still standing here and stay away. Candy painted lovely portraits of herself and her brothers. But unfortunately, they didn't scare the birds at all. Cookie, I think that the birds can tell that these are just drawings and aren't really us at all. Then I think we have to build something that looks like a real scary kitten. Come on, let's try. 
Yeah, but it must be really scary, so the birds are too terrified to come near it. The kittens found stuff around Granny's garden and made a terrifying scarecrow. They were really scared. <laughs> Goodness, who is that? What are you doing here? Speak or I'll call the police. Granny, it's okay. That's just our super duper scarecrow. It will scare any bird who dares to enter the garden. <laughs> it's a wonderful idea, children. Oh, but it also scares grandmothers. Oh, I don't think I want to look at that thing for long. Hmm. Perhaps there's a less scary way to protect the seeds. We could cover the dirt with something. That way the birds wouldn't be able to get to the seeds. But how would the carrots be able to grow then? They'd have no sunshine. We could put up a humongous fan to blow the birds away. But how is Granny going to water the garden then? Oh. Oh. oh, the birds are back. They're not even a little bit scared. Oh, boy, aren't they scared of anything at all? Huh? Hang on, look at that. The pinwheel, they're afraid of the pinwheel. It spins around and makes a clicking noise as well. Then I know just what the garden needs. My darlings, it's time for lunch. Oh, well, isn't that pretty? What do you think of it, Granny? These are our beautiful scarecrow wheels. Well, I had no idea it was possible to scare birds away with something that beautiful. My darlings, you're the cleverest kittens ever. Still, I feel bad for the birds. Won't they go hungry now without any seeds? We can help them. How about we feed them some nice, yummy crumbs? So awesome! Bee wow, bee wow, bee wow, bee wow! Thanks to the kitty cats, Granny's seeds grew safely and the birds got some food. <laughs>